Good Tuesday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update for this July the 9th, 2013. Lots to talk about as far as our local weather situation and also uh, in, as we look towards the tropics, as we look towards uh, Tropical Storm Chantal uh, making its way into the Caribbean Sea at this point and uh, definitely something to continue to watch over the next several days. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going on right now across eastern North Carolina. Here's a look at current temperatures across eastern North Carolina. It's 86 currently in Greenville, 83 as you head over towards Washington, 85 degrees currently for Cedar Island, 81 for Beaufort. 88 degrees currently for Jacksonville, uh, Richlands right now, 84 at uh, New River Air Station, 85 for uh, Kenansville. And you see a nice little shower uh, storm making its way into uh, southwestern portions of Wayne County, moving out of Sampson County this afternoon. That continues to make its way off towards the north and the east. Got some lightning with it and possibly a little bit of gusty wind with it as well. And look at these heat indices. I mean, it feels absolutely downright nasty outside with the uh, humidity that we've got. We've got dew points in the mid-70s today. And we've got uh, heat indices in the mid-90s. 95 right now is what it feels like in Greenville. And you see the clouds have started to break up this afternoon. Here's the uh, satellite and radar loop this afternoon, and you can kind of see that we had some showers and thunderstorms making their way through eastern North Carolina earlier on this afternoon, and now just that one storm back over into uh, northern Sampson County, uh, making its way into Wayne County this afternoon, but the clouds have started to break up a good bit this afternoon as well. And here's the look from our friend Chantal, making its way through the uh, Caribbean this morning, uh, making its way across the Lesser Antilles today. Continues to make its way off towards the west and northwest at a quick little pace, 26 miles per hour. Uh, this thing's booking it off towards the west. And, and the thing is about it is that usually when storms move this fast, they aren't able to get a good defined center of low pressure or get the thunderstorms to wrap around the center of low pressure uh, fast enough. But this system's been doing fairly well. It's going to be going through some changes as we go into, say, the next couple of days because it's going to be moving over some very mountainous terrain over Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti as we head through, uh, say, even in towards uh, maybe even as early as uh, Thursday morning. And here's the uh, computer tracks for the next several days across Eastern for the uh, for the tracks here, and right through here is the consensus. Everything kind of points towards this look right here and kind of makes a turn back towards Florida or southeast Georgia as we head towards, uh, say, Saturday or Sunday. But, temp uh, but the, uh, uh, the wind field should be fairly uh, weak at this point. Once it comes across this area here, the wind field should be fairly weak because of the mountainous rain tearing that storm apart. But we could see the storm get close to hurricane strength as it comes across the northern portion of the Caribbean Sea. And then even whenever it emerges, uh, some of the uh, dynamic models trying to ramp this thing up towards a Category 1 hurricane uh, once it comes out of the Bahamian Islands. But what we're going to be watching is a trough of low pressure in the Bermuda High. All those factors will put a damper on Chantal and hopefully keep it far far away from us. Alright let's stop modeling here's the uh, 12Z GFS run uh, fresh uh, coming in this afternoon and uh, what we got going on the trough of low pressure making its way across eastern North Carolina this afternoon that's what helped to bring the showers and thunderstorms this morning and the leftover energy with that will help to crop up maybe a few more showers and thunderstorms through this afternoon. Uh, area of low pressure making its way across Florida today and uh, fairly zonal flow uh, except for this little short wave up towards the north and west. That's what we're going to be watching as we head towards say this weekend. So for the rest of this afternoon expect temperatures to warm up inland near 90 degrees and along the coast will be uh, probably mid 80s uh, this afternoon with a scattering of showers and thunderstorms. The 4 kilometer NAM supports that, uh, that chance for about a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms. Also, a mixture of sun and clouds through this afternoon as well. But going through this evening, look at this blow up up here towards the north. We'll see if that happens uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, it does look like it'll stay to the north. Maybe a few showers sneak in here late tonight uh, going into tomorrow morning. Very similar to what we had last night uh, when we woke up uh, 
you know, four or five o'clock this morning. We had some storms roll through here this morning, uh, knocked out some power uh, across eastern North Carolina, and, and even tomorrow morning, uh, it's, it's still painting some showers and thunderstorms. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had a similar situation as what we had last night with that lingering piece of energy, and then going in through the afternoon hour, same type of scenario, pop up showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon. Even on the uh, 12Z GFS, uh, looking at 18Z tomorrow, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it still have a little piece of energy coming across the flow, and that's going to help to increase those rain chances once again for the afternoon hours. But I think tomorrow we may have a better chance for seeing some showers early and then clearing out through the afternoon hours. Uh, very up and down as far as that's concerned. So we'll keep it about a 30% chance for a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow. Temperatures in the uh, middle and upper 80s once again. Here's Thursday, another piece of energy trying to make its way into eastern North Carolina. That'll help crop up some more showers and thunderstorms. And you see that southwesterly flow starting to take place. Uh, that's that deep moisture trying to move in here. And also another trough to the north and the west of us. That's going to be diving in here as well. And here's the remnants of what the GFS thinks the remnants of uh, Tropical Storm Chantal will be uh, coming up through Thursday afternoon. And once again, we'll go with uh, probably about a 30 or 40 percent chance for an afternoon shower or thunderstorm uh, for Thursday. And you see the heavy rains back off towards the north and west of us. That's along that trough axis. And all that starts to slide in here as we head towards Friday. With that deep southwesterly flow, it's going to get wet across eastern North Carolina. Here's the uh, possible accumulated rainfall totals across uh, the southeast from the, uh, the Weather Prediction Center. And look at this. 2.24 inches uh, bullseye basically right over the inner banks from about uh, Cr uh, Craven County all, all the way up through Dare County, Hyde County. It, it looks like we're going to have another substantial bit of rainfall across eastern North Carolina. And even going into Saturday, we'll still have energy, enough energy coming up across us to keep some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for us for your Saturday. Another low pressure system up towards the north and east of us and then the remnants of uh, Chantal and the trough axis down to our south and the west and we're still fairly moist on uh, Saturday. Now I will say this, best rain chances on Saturday likely be in the morning time hours and then starting to taper off through the afternoon but we're still going to keep rain chances through much of the day on Saturday. And some new features coming in on the GFS, uh, this low pressure system, little lobe of low pressure kind of diving south as well and then you've got the retrograding remnants of uh, Chantal or what could be uh, the remnants of Chantal making its way into Texas. There's some interesting stuff going on here as we head towards Sunday that could once again keep us with some scattered rain chances going in towards Sunday. So we're not going to dump out of the rain chances on Sunday. Still with that chance for rain even going into Sunday afternoon. And now uh, the GFS is painting that low pressure system coming back over us going in towards Monday. That would bring down temperatures if this is correct. Uh, right now, I, this is a new feature coming in on the, on the new GFS run. I'm just not too certain about that at this point. But if it does come to fruition, it would be another heavy rain setup again. Uh, we're talking another possible one to two inches right along the immediate coastline if this is correct. And going into Tuesday, and you see what's going on here, the main storm track well to the north, and so when these little low pressure systems get cut off here, they just kind of meander around, and it kind of moves back off towards the uh, west as we head towards Tuesday, keeping us in the uh, rain chances going in towards Tuesday. Now, temperatures are be a little bit cooler if this is right, so it's something to watch over the next couple of days. Here's the end of the forecast period, uh, Wednesday morning, and a uh, low pressure system over Alabama at that point. And at least for the morning time hours, we'd be dry. I think by the afternoon, we could get a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms. But the Bermuda High starts to hedge back in here as we head towards the uh, end of this period. So the takeaway message from all of this is expect more rain showers across eastern North Carolina. More so in the isolated and scattered category for a couple of days. And then, especially for the weekend, we're talking about a, a soaker once again, especially for Friday and Saturday. And if this low pressure system comes into fruition and comes comes into, into play as far as it driving south and westward, we're talking about more rain showers as we head towards the first portion of this upcoming week. So something to look forward to, especially with the fact that we've got swollen rivers. The uh, Tar River is finally coming down out of uh, flood stage today, as well as the Noose River at uh, Goldsboro. Kinston still rising. Uh, the Noose River at Kinston still rising and uh, definitely going to be an issue in that department. And Contentia Creek is still 
fairly steady and still in flood stage. And more rain on top of all the stuff that we've already had, it's going to cause more issues uh, through the next several days. And also the crops. Uh, we've had already had crop loss in some locations and uh, not being able to get out and do anything. It's becoming an issue with the rain showers, and we understand that, but uh, we're just the messengers here, and we're just keeping you guys ahead of what to expect as we head through the next seven days. Uh, Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer will be in this evening from uh, 5 to uh, 6.30, uh, also on 10 o'clock on CW and 11 o'clock on WNCT. You will keep you updated on Facebook as well as Twitter. You guys have a great uh, Tuesday and a great rest of your week.